Hey there guys and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. In the last part we broke out of jail, collected some gems that we needed to power this place up, and I suppose we'd better go and do that now. Although I'm kind of cautious, as you can see my health is not extremely high. And I don't really know of any... Oh, well that helps. Oh and there's a bunch of crates over there, yeah. My health is no longer a concern. There we go, an egg, that always works. Now, I have to get off this balcony. For some reason, you cannot jump off the ledges. Yeah, there is invisible walls everywhere. Jeez, they're really giving those eggs away at this point. Hey, look, a tiny cloud runner. Why is he there? Eh, it would make sense for, like, the natives to actually be here. Unlike in some areas, like frickin' Cape Claw, where there's only one bloody high top. Which doesn't make sense. I mean, why would there be only one? Where are all the other ones? Alright. Toxic gas, so better make it quick. Put the red one there. Ooh, nice. Gonna get a whole colorful laser show in here. And the green one. And all that leaves it. Oh crap, look at the gas meter. Okay, I really hope the gas meter will... Yeah. Oh, look, it's that wacky, one-of-a-kind dinosaur guy again. And the giant fans are working. He'd better be careful that his foot doesn't slip through the freaking grate and just slice his bloody foot off. And all the robots are crushed against the ceiling. But for that matter, shouldn't the dinosaur be crushed against the ceiling as well? Nah. This game doesn't make sense, and I'm not gonna try and make sense of it. But, this means that all the uh, thingamajiggies, the um, uh, fans are all back online again. Which means we can go up to the next level of the fortress. Swell. See, we haven't been here before. Now, there's first some sharp claws to beat up. Which should be... You should be accustomed to that by now. Because, come on. I think we've probably fought like a hundred sharp claws already. And yet I still managed to take a whack from one. Eh, well. Time for the new power to come in handy. The sharp claw disguise. You see these wacky pans on the floor? Stand on them when you're disguised and they will open stuff. Yeah, nifty, ain't it? Now, if you recall correctly, we also saw one of those in Krozoa Palace when we were there a few videos ago. Guess which power we need to open up a new place to release a spirit. Of course, we have to get a spirit first. I think that's pretty much next after this. Because it's kind of like, uh, yeah, Spellstone Spirit. Spellstone Spirit. Although there's three... Oh, four spell stones to get in, five spirits. And. We got a spell stone first, then a spirit. I think, yeah, now we're gonna get another spell stone, and after that is another spirit. Which was also the one I was stuck on for multiple years. So that should be interesting. And then after that is. Another spell stone, I think. And then there is another spirit and another spell stone. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I recorded this entire LP. It's been sitting on my hard drive for ages. Anyway, kill all the sharp claws and a life force door will open. I think it was... No, not that one. It was this one. Over here. Where they have this tiny bomb thingy. Now you can only pick this one up when you're disguised for some reason. I don't know why Fox is unable to pick these up. It doesn't really make much sense. But put it down here. Rush up the ladder. What? You can't... No, it's on this side. You should be able to climb the other side of that ladder perfectly fine. But again, invisible walls up the butt. Oh, crap. Why did I drop the disguise? Wasted my magic meter that way. 
And yeah, Fox still looks like the worst bloody sharp claw ever. I mean, what do the other sharp claws think when they see Fox walking around like that? Ugh, bet scales really lowered his recruitment standards now, did he? And you have to use it to take that grade out there. Whoa! Oh, luckily there's a fan going on down there. Ooh, sharp claw. Yeah, they won't attack you when you're wearing the disguise. And crap, the ladder's up there. How do I get it down? Maybe I need to beat this guy up. Because beating up lizard people is always the answer. Alright, got another egg I don't need. Oh, I didn't need to drop my disguise and kill that guy after all. Well, that sucks. So, let's just go up here and see what is there. Now, I can kinda, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear some faint crying in the background. What could that be, and what could this thing here do? Did it lower that, or what? Maybe it did, I don't know. So yeah, I better put my disguise back on, because these robots here mean business if you're not wearing it. Is there another switch over here? No, there is not. Just a piece of rubble. So... What's up here? Hey, it's the Queen! Fox! The floor of this cage seems unstable. See if you can find a way of breaking it. And there just so happens to be an explosive barrel nearby. Yeah, it's a real no-brainer. Oh, there's another switch over here. You kind of have to... Ah, there we go. That allows for easy access to the lower areas of this place. Yeah, screw you, Sharp Claws, you're never gonna figure me out. Now, there's a pillar underneath the Queen's cage that you need to take out. Using that explosive barrel you'll find in this room. However, getting the barrel over there can be kind of an issue. Because in once you'll see it'll go bloody ape shit once you get it on this fan. It'll float all over the bloody place. And it'll bounce off the walls in the wackiest manners. And it has a timer on it, so you have to get it to the other side quickly. You can Oh come on. You can kinda try gently nudging it in the right direction by moving against it yourself, but that's not really that reliable. Come on. Yes. Finally, some bloody cooperation. Now, take out that pillar and the queen will be freed. There we go. Are you alright? My children! When I was captured, they became scared and are now hiding around the fortress. <coughs> Please, take this. Use it when you hear them. Its call will guide them back to me. If the Shark Claw find them, I fear they will leave the fortress forever. And if I may ask so, what prevents you from searching for them yourself? You're free, you can fly around now. How about just go and get them yourself? But no, I have to do it using this wacky trumpet thing. They will only respond to this call. So what? Your kids will respond to some wacky flute, but not to your, to their own mother's voice? Yeah, bet she didn't really raise them that well. I think I hear one of them chirping nearby. Yeah, I think I do. Is there any, like a little cloud runner around here? Try to play the flute. Quite a snazzy tune. Do 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 do. Yeah, sounds kind of wacky, but come on, Cloud Runner, where are you? Yay, the binoculars! I do not regret buying those at all. Mainly because, well, there's no point in not buying them because you'll get plenty of scarabs all over the place, and your back can only fit so many. So you'd better spend them while you can. Now where is that bloody cloud runner? There should be one over here. I can totally hear it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it because I'm kind of talking over the background noise and the volume's lowered. So... Maybe it's down there somewhere? Where is that thing? I have no clue. 
we need to talk to the- Ah, crap. Maybe we need to talk to the Queen again. See what kind of effect that has on the ongoing circumstances. Queen, over here. If you find all four of my children, you will be greatly rewarded. Please, hurry! Well, you know, you could help me find them, instead of just sitting here waiting for me to do it. Because, you know, two heads are better than one. Oh, you just had to step outside. Yeah, they will show you where all the children are, and you have to get to them within a certain time and kick some sharp claw tail. But that's nothing you haven't done before, so just go right at it. It's only one sharp claw, so that'll take like five seconds. And then it'll land, you'll play the flute, and it'll be happy and go to mommy. Alright, play the flute. And it will chirp a bit, and it will fly away. One down, and then it'll skip right to the next one. And it's over there. Better hightail it in that direction then. It's a good thing I already opened that gate before. That really saves me a lot of time. Just float over here. Don't jump down there, that's a trap. Don't do it, seriously. Now here there's two sharp claws. But yeah, look at how slow that meter is decreasing. I could be doing, I could totally go and pick my nose like a monkey right now for like 10 freaking minutes and I'd still have enough time to get all of the sharp claws out of the way. Yeah. Play the flute again. What? Oh, yeah, you need to be kind of close to them. But not too close because then you'll scare them and they'll fly away. So you have to find the right distance and then it'll go off without a hitch and now they're over there now this one can kinda confuse some people because you actually have to do some backtracking to get there um, down here let's see this only holds scarabs which I don't really need can I go through here? yes I can because we kinda need to go back to the entrance of Cloudrunner Fortress now well, maybe not really, but remember, I think I went here before. There's this rocket booster thingy, which should take you right up there. Yep. Now, whack him. See if the ground quake will do me much good here. And knock him down. Well, that hardly did any damage. It only knocked him down for like one second, so that was completely useless. So yeah, whereas the Fire Blaster and Ice Blaster have some use in combat, the Ground Quake sadly does not. Although it'll be... it'll come in handy against some later enemies, like in the third floating world. But I won't mention much of that for now, because that's spoilers and you know how I feel about spoilers. Anyone who posts them gets the Banhammer instead. Er... Uh, I kind of lost my line of thought here right now, but screw it. Play the snazzy tune on my... Kind of looks like a shell, doesn't it? Seashell. And this place isn't even by the seas, it's floating in space. But maybe the queen found a pretty seashell at Cape Claw when this place was still connected to the planet, I don't know. And there's a ladder here which you can use to go down, or you can just fall and take one measly point of damage for such a high fall. Because Fox is such a tough guy. Yeah, he's impervious to pain. And this should be the final baby you need to rescue. Although due to my constant rambling, I kind of missed where it was. Like when narrating this, but I'm sure I'll find it sooner or later. I mean, I was paying attention when I was playing this, of course. Narrating this, not so much. I think it was like over on some outcropping over here. Like some kind of ledge overlooking the sky. Yeah, back there I can see it flying. Oh no, wait, that's a Bafom Dad up there. Hmm. I don't think my Bafom Dad bag is full already. And yeah, shooting at the... Oh, I actually killed one of them. I was gonna say that's useless as well, but it's not. Nice. 
But still, hand-to-hand -hand combat takes care of these guys just as fast, if not faster. See, it'll block most of it anyway. Or most of them will miss. And kind of veer off into the wild blue yonder beyond. I think that was, uh... Never mind. Alright, pal, you and me. No more magic. Just kick him in the face. And do a little twirly. Smack him with it. Yeah, you, that's your roll attack. You can roll and then attack immediately after and you'll do that. It's not really that strong, but it looks kind of cool. Come on, land. See, it won't land if you're standing too close to where it wants to land. Now, play the flute. I think I messed it up there. Yeah, I did. I kind of came too close. Careful. Come on, you bastard. Stay there. Come on. Alright, play the flute. And let's get him back to mommy. Come on, off you go. Why aren't you wearing any clothes? Like your mother. And that's the final one. So in the next part of Star Fox Adventures, we will return to the Queen. And we shall reap our rewards. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next part. Bye-bye.